Greetings hobbyists, this is Arsene Zavall. In this we're going to be having a look at scale units within Blender and what they actually mean. So if you're not interested in using Blender for 3D printing or for CAD, this probably isn't the video for you. You might want to just switch off now. I'm going to be really clear with you. This is pretty much entirely designed for the 3D printing audience where scale and size is really important. But if 3D printing is something you're interested in or the scale and size of your Blender is important for you for another reason, then this video is probably going to save you a lot of time and a lot of pain. So let's get straight into this. So to change the units in Blender, all we need to do is come over to the right hand side here where it's got scene properties and we've got if it looks like this you need to click units and you've got your unit systems now I'm going to be talking about metric mostly because I'm not a savage but all joking aside I know metric uh, it makes sense to me and for most people doing 3d printing I'd imagine especially for miniatures millimeters is probably what they work with if that's not you I apologize but hopefully this will give you an idea of if you do use Imperial, how you could go about working out what these units mean for you when you start trying to print things out. And within this, importantly, you've got the option to change your length. You can change it from meters to be whatever you want. And I often get asked when I'm making things in Blender and I'm, for example, bringing in a cube and I go, here's my cube and oh, that's two meters, but I'm using meters as millimeters. People are like, why are you doing that? Like, why not just change it to millimeters? Well, hopefully this is going to answer that question and it's going to give you some ideas of if you do want to set it to millimeters, how you can deal with that. Because putting it in millimeters can cause you some problems. So what I've got here is I've got this one blender screen here and I'm going to flip between this, but this is going to be my meters workspace. So this is going to be red. I've also got this, which is going to be my millimeter workspace. And I'm going to come over here and change this into millimeters. And straight away, I'm going to press Shift and A, and I'm going to bring in a cube. And you can see here from if I bring up my end panel and go to the item, this is 2000 millimeters. So essentially two meters. It's exactly the same as what we've got over there. And we don't want that. So actually, I'm going to bring this down to two millimeters. So this cube is going to be two millimeters in size. And already it's tiny. So let's just press full stop on my number pad to zoom in. And we've got this here. And already, if I scroll around, you can notice we do have some problems with millimeters where the camera is sort of cutting off a bit of the cube before I can get too close to it. If you have that and you do want to work in millimeters, you can fix that in the end panel on the side by going to view. And it's got this start length. And at the moment, that's at one millimeter. If I turn that down to 0.5 millimeters, that should mean I can get much closer. So you can fix that with the view settings here. But this is indicative of some other issues that we get in Blender. Blender doesn't really like working in millimeters and we'll talk about why as I go through this. Now I do have one other final window, which is gonna be this window here and this we're gonna go and I'm gonna take the unit system to be none. So we've got no units here. This is using Blender's own special unit. And we'll have a look at what that is, but I'm gonna just press Control and A, bring in a mesh, and we've got my cube here. If I press N, we can see that this is two in the dimensions, so two Blender units, whatever that may be. So back to my meters workspace, and the first thing that we're gonna do is try to work out, well, what is a Blender unit? Why does Blender have its own units and what exactly are they? Well, that's relatively simple to do. So at the moment, we've got our two meter cube here, and we've got our two millimeter cube here. So what happens if, for both of these, I change these from metric into Blender units? So let's just do that quickly. So we're gonna go from millimeters to none, and then we can have a look at that. And if I come into item, you will see here that this now has a dimension of 0.002 blender units. And if I do the same here for my one that's currently two meters and turn that into none, you will see that this has now gone to two blender units. Now this is important to understand. What this means is that blender has its own unit system, blender units, and to blender, a blender unit is one meter. In this we had two blender units and that's now two meters. Similarly, this one that's 0.002 blender units. Well, if I go back into metric with millimeters, oh, and it automatically goes to meters, we can see that it's exactly the same. This is why it comes in as meters. And then I change that back to millimeters to get two millimeters. 
So Blender thinks of a Blender unit as being a meter. Now, no issues with that, that's fine. And what I could do is just carry on with this and start doing whatever I want in my workspace and bring in new cubes and moving those around and booling them together, whatever I want to do. We can do this work in millimeters, but I will say just a little side note, Blender, from what I understand, and please, if you are a programmer of Blender, you're welcome to correct me and tell me that I'm wrong on this. Blender seems to work in its own unit system, its Blender units, and then convert that to whatever unit system that we want. So if I go into, and no units here, you can see these are tiny objects. And if I, for example, Boolean those together, We've now got these objects combined, but when Blender's been doing the work for this, if I go into vertex mode and start measuring things out, so for example, if I just measure from here to here, you can see Blender has worked this out as a distance of 0.000445 Blender units. Now, if I come back into millimeters, obviously we can see that, well, that's about half a millimeter. And realistically, if I'm doing some design in, for a miniature, Half a millimeter is totally viable as something that I need as a size. But for Blender, this is a 10,000th of one unit. And when you start getting into these really small numbers, we start to potentially get problems. And when I previously used to work in millimeters, this would cause problems. A lot of the time you'd find as you started booleaning things together, that you'd end up with more common problems and Blender would make mistakes when trying to Boolean things together that you'd then have to fix. So working in millimeters, one, Blender doesn't seem to like it, it causes more problems. So now that we know what Blender thinks a Blender unit is, let's take this into a different program for 3D printing and see what other programs think a Blender unit is because that's gonna be very important for the 3D printing process. So all I'm doing here is going to export an STL and for each of these objects, I'm gonna pick a suitable name. So units and then whatever the unit is, so either meters, millimeters or none. And I'm gonna tick the selection only box. This is relatively irrelevant here, but it's really worth getting used to doing that so you don't ever export a file that's bigger or got more in it than you want. So this is Lychee, it's my generally preferred slicer program for 3D printing. And in terms of scale, it works the same as Cheetu Box. So I'm not gonna do this both. I thought that was gonna get a bit boring if I show everything twice, but all we're gonna do is add in our cube here. So I'm gonna start by bringing in the one in millimeters, because obviously we want our objects in millimeters in most instances. So I'm gonna open that and it doesn't appear to be here. Though I've got an object here, if I click on it, Oh look, there it is, all the way in here, this tiny cube that I'm zooming into that I can't even see. And in fact, if I come over here and go to scale, it's got the size of this. And in fact, the scale is so small that it's not registering as a millimeter in size. It's 0, 0.00 something. And there's a reason for this. Even though this was a millimeter, according to my units, in Blender, this is coming in as 0 0.002 in size. It's so small we can't even see it. So this is not gonna print well. And to scale this up, which I can do, I'm going to need to bring it, well, secondary school maths coming in here. I'm gonna have to go one, two, three. So let's just add in one, two, three zeros. And Oh look, now I can see my cube and it's come in at two millimeters. So do note, if you do want to work in millimeters, you can do and you can bring it into your 3D printing program. You just need to increase it in size to 100,000% before it will be at the right scale. And that's just a task I don't need every single time I'm doing this. So let's take that and delete it. And let's add in a different file. And this time we're gonna bring in our Blender file that has no units, it's just using the Blender units, because this is probably the most important one that we understand what other programs think. And already I can see my cube, that's a good start. And if I come here to the scale, we can see that this is two millimeters. So this is really important for us to understand. Blender units, Blender thinks of as a meter, but every other program thinks of a Blender unit as being a millimeter. So I'm just gonna move that to the side 
and that should tell us what's going to happen next. If I go to import my units that are in meters, remember that Blender thinks a Blender unit is a meter, but every other program thinks it's a millimeter, and we bring this in, you'll notice that this is also two millimeters. And that is why I work in meters when I'm on Blender. It means I don't have to do any conversion. Though it probably is worth saying that actually, maybe I should just work with no units. It might cause less confusion. So that might be something I do in the future. I actually wonder if it might speed Blender up because it's not having to do any maths when it's trying to give me the units on the screen. Not sure. Now, what if for some reason you are determined to work in millimeters? Is there a way around this? Well, yes, there is, so let's have a look at that. So the first thing we can do is when file and exporting our STL, you have got an option here to scale something up. So bearing in mind that we know that we need to do this a thousand times the size, if I scale this up by a thousand and export the STL, and then back in Lychee Slicer, import units in millimeters, and it's got it scaled by a thousand times. So that's an option. Okay, you can work in millimeters and you can scale it as you export it if you want to. The other option is to use a program like this. This is 3D Builder. And if I come into here and open up my unit, notice this is not the one that's scaled or times by a thousand. If I open this, when it comes in, I have an option here. And I know this isn't the nicest program. Everything looks very gray of what the unit file size is. And to fix this, you don't click on millimeters because you need to make sure it thinks it's a thousand times bigger. You come to meters, import it. And now this object, if I go to the size, is gonna be two millimeters in size. And to be honest, it is quite worth bringing things into 3D Builder anyway, because it's a very good program for any 3D printing or non-manifold object errors. So maybe that's not a huge extra stage to do it. But I will say from personal experience, as I said earlier, I would really recommend not working in millimeters. It does cause more errors in Blender. I have found that it makes Blender crash more often, probably just because it's trying to do much more maths. Well, hopefully that video, and I appreciate not exceptionally exciting, will have saved you some time and effort and some annoyance when you start trying to bring your objects into 3D printing programs.